with beautiful virgin hair products. The best real hair, guaranteed. With Pape and Camille Beauty Hair. Pape and Camille Beauty Hair Products. Four pack Brazilian plus closure for £90. Special offer, Brazilian hair, 8 inches for £10, 10 inches for £12, 12 inches for £15. Lace wig frontal, 10 inches, starts from just £55. Find these and other great deals with 100% guaranteed human hair at the Papa and Camille store in Brixton. Hop into our Brixton store today or go online with free next day delivery at pchairlimited.com. With Papa and Camille, you have the freedom to be really gorgeous. for joining me is Rose on all sides once again. The weather is beautiful. Why don't we have such a fantastic time? Okay, so summer is just around the corner. I don't know what you have planned. I see quite a number of people are running to the gym. But especially us ladies, it's going to be pretty hot. And like I said to you last week and the week before, Papil and Camille have come out with 15 amazing styles for the summer. This is the second one I'm wearing. Last week was 27 pieces that I put on. I hope you saw that one. It was really beautiful and this one i'm particularly in love with it the cuts and of course the the the, the style the parts it it's different it is beautiful just take advantage of all the styles that are coming up you need to look different i used to be like wearing a lot of short hair then i took advantage of the glamour of like the really long hair up to over 30 inches that papil and camille does and then he says i should try this on i kind of felt strange but believe me the moment I put it on today I just kept on checking it out in the mirror I really like it it's beautiful and then it's 95 pound I mean that's the the starting price but in the next few weeks or starting last week as a matter of fact Papil uh, is giving an amazing deal on it for 35, 30 pounds, you can get this before it runs out. If people are just rushing, rushing, rushing these styles. And of course, all the other range that I would be putting on from time to time. I mean, just for you to see them and, and check them out. This one particularly is really nice and sexy. You see, there's um, a theory on how to win a man. Most people say men love when your hair is full, when you have a full mane, like Beyonce, you know? But then, quite a number of men actually like his shots. When I walked into the studio, some of my colleagues were like, hey, Rose, I like your hair. Guys, this is a guy. So ladies, I think you need to try this out. Apart from him looking short and like getting you through the summer, you have um, the opportunity to show your jaw, your jawline, eye cheekbones, your neck. It's really beautiful. I like this one and I'm going to rock it to the fullest. And then talking about summer still, you have the opportunity open to you to have us come cover your event and of course bring it on here and show the world what an amazing thing that you are doing weddings birthdays conferences awards political debates seminars anything you're doing we could come give you the fantastic coverage and put it out here and of course I can compare your event giving it the class that it deserves we're just a phone call away to give you the best the best this summer and then again of course the elections are over a winner declared President Muhammadu Buhari re-elected for another four years the APC United Kingdom out we knew, we saw the amazing contribution to the election especially the election um, presidential committee and um, they are having a special dinner on the 4th of May. So it's a victory dinner. And there's the special guest is His Excellency Chibuke Rotimi Amechi, the Minister for Transportation, and His Excellency Boss Mustafa as the Secretary to the Government. So like I said before, it's the 4th of May 2019. It's going to be in barking. The time is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And please, 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 no African time. You just have to be 
at this event if there's any place for you to be and he's sponsored if there's any place for you to be like i said it is just at this event come to celebrate not just for the apc members alone but for every nigerian who believes that our country would work it will definitely work it doesn't matter who wins despite all the issue that is coming up by the opposition going to court of course he has his right is within his right but let us just work together and make nigeria great and of course come and celebrate this dinner i'm looking forward to it you know not just the food but the people meeting with nigerians who are so far away from home just an opportunity for us to get together again and i have to say that again the apc uk victory dinner coming up on the 4th of may 2019 and there's something else i stumbled upon you know president Mohamed Buhari is in lagos to commission the amazing project of uh, the outgoing governor of lagos state his excellency ambode akumi ambode and um away from those projects uh, there's this picture that's been circulated on social media of um, one of Ambode's twin ch children prostrating for Mr. President. It's so beautiful, you know. You catch them young like that. You know, the Yoruba culture is so rich. A and one thing about them is it's the respect. I mean, and... And teaching the kids this young, of course, that is what it should be. And it, it, I mean, it's, it's just amazing. I, I love what I see. I mean, a lot of people have been, you know, commending it. And even my neighbor, the daughter is like, she's 11. And when she sees me, she gets on her knees. I'm like, oh, strange in the United Kingdom. <laughs> but it's fine. We should do that with our kids. You know, what you treat. Train up a child the way it should go. When they get older, they won't depart from it. That is it. And then talking about the Yoruba culture, everything just seems to be a melting pot today. I have someone in the studio who would be giving credence to the Yoruba culture, a representative of the traditional institution. But before we come to my guest, there's a video of one of um, the amazing projects um, Governor Ambode did in Lagos. And if I may say this, with um, what he's done and having the president going to commission them, it's sad that he's actually leaving. He actually made history as um, the very first governor who would not be getting a second term. And this is because of the selfishness of a particular group, that this guy is not squaring or paying homage to some certain people and then he doesn't, um, he would not be allowed to go for a second time. But this guy feels, I mean, the governor of Lagos State, the outgoing governor of Lagos State, feels the need to develop the state. The development that is ongoing now, that is being accomplished, this is what should have been done in the 80s, in the 80s, and wasn't done. And he is doing them now, even much more than his pre predecessors. And instead of allowing him to continue, we are asking him to leave. I wonder what the new governor is going to do. That's Shomwulu, with all with these feats that Ambode is leaving behind. Okay, we've heard that he's going to be part of um, the cabinet of President Muhammad Dubuari. Kudos to compensate him. But the fact is that we are beginning to see the reason why we are lacking development in Nigeria. And it's just some a few groups of people. I think if the Ashiwaju wants to set things right, I mean, I know they've set the ball rolling with a new governor. So something just needs to be done. It's not about um, paying some people uh, money that belongs to Nigerians. They should look at developing the state and making people happy. I mean, you can just imagine some of the things he's done. I mean, the, the air, airport road, uh, the mass transit bus, and of course, particularly the 170 bed in Ainke House, the maternity hospital um, for the University of Lagos. It's applaudable, but too bad that the governor would be leaving soon. One of those things. And then if I can quickly play an amateur video of um, a citizen's journalist who took shots of the road, um, it's just amazing what the governor has done. Just some volume there.
Okay, it's a pretty short video, but jump I'm going to let you see that later on. I did talk about culture. I have a representative of a traditional institution with us. He recently launched his book and he celebrated his 70th birthday. Please join me in welcoming His Royal Majesty Oba Engineer Olajide Isiaka Agede Ogirima Dabu <laughs> Akilu, the Kingdom of Ogu State. Thank you very much, sir, for joining me. Thank you very much. It's so good to have you. Thank you very much. I'm really honored. Thank you very much. Okay. I would like to know something first. Your book. Yes. Talk to us about the inspiration and why now? Well, why not now? I was 70 uh, a couple of uh, months ago mm. and age is cashing on me, whether I like it or not. <laughs> I have been on the throne for more than 22 years now. I have been working. I have been doing some transformations. It's good to catalog some of these things for generation yet unborn. Yes. To catch a glimpse of uh, what has been going on and to learn from it. Uh, just like what I said during the celebration in London here. Yeah. Some of my young ones, my subjects came. I was inspired. Some of them live in America. Some came from Nigeria. Some were part of Nigeria's events. And they also said they'll be part of the event in, in UK here. Some are based in UK here. And I was telling them, I said, what is happening on this book is not about my birthday per se. It's more about a Lodo community. So that you, official leaders of a Lodo, can take this as your Bible, as a legacy that I'm leaving behind. I will be alive. I'm not uh, uh, for for seeing death. Yes. But nobody will live forever. That is true. But you must leave some legacies behind for people that are coming to learn. Yes. From it, and then know that uh, this our KBC has set some standards. Yes. And we need to improve upon the standards and make sure that uh, our community uh, continues to develop. Okay, what would you say in life has prepared you for your many leadership role and for the spectacular achievements in life? Well, uh, my background, my educational background, uh, I, I must say that I have a good education secondary school university uh, worked in uh, big corporations I first of all worked in Nepal then uh, left Nepal joined Liver Brothers Nigeria Limited before it became Liver Brothers Nigeria PLC yes and also joined Federal House Authority you know, in the course of employment, you get the experience. You, you mix with a lot of people. You build yourself up. And you, 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 you put into your body the ego of achievements. Because while climbing up the ladder in employment, your progress will definitely be uh, determined by your input. So 
similarly, when I found myself as the first Oba yes. of my town, and that's a big challenge. <laughs> I must not bungle it. The first of our Yes, of Ilodo. Mm. Yes. I must not bungle it. I must make sure that uh, those who decided to give our town the status of ownership didn't make mistake. I must I must prove them right. Okay. That's that, 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 and, 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 and that's why let me tell you this. Quite a lot of my friends asked me, they said, why? Why, 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 why Obashi? Why not? Why not, uh, why not politics? Yes. I, don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to embarrass a good friend of mine, a politician, one of the foremost politicians from Southwest. He said, Kapisi, why Obashi? We are so good. I would have put you here where I put it there. But you see, I told him, I say, that is, this is my destiny. My destiny is that uh, I must be born here. I must pass through this place. I must transform this place. To me, that is what God wants for me. Maybe if I find myself in politics, I would have probably not bothered about the town. I would just be giving them money. Yes. But now the, the, the burden, the load of the town is on my head. And I find it challenging. Okay. Yes. Okay. Before we talk about the many um, projects you're doing yeah. in Ilodu community, um, this is the forward written by the former governor of Ogun State, the two-time yeah. governor, yeah. His Excellency Otubagbenga Daniel. Daniel yes. He said this. He says, what's more, His Royal Highness or by Engineer Ajede has a larger-than-life aura which propels him to gain a good traction in securing amenities and other facilities for his town, whatever the challenges. Since you became the Oba of Ilodo community, yeah. you were you're just not sitting there as, okay, I'm just a traditional ruler. <laughs> I would follow the rights, the usual rights of passage and everything else you're meant to do. But you're focusing on developing the town as though you know, maybe you're the mayor, the local government chairman, because that has been your concern. Why is that? Because everyone would, would want you to be just like any other traditional ruler, but you're focused on community development. Now, a few minutes ago, I told you, I said the burden on me is to make sure that uh, those who decided, principally Kabe Saudi, the Prime Minister of Jebuland, Yes. Those who decided to give my town the status of a bishop, I don't want them to regret and say, who is this fellow? Now, imagine a businessman, first of all, a well-educated person, an engineer, has worked here and there, then a businessman, then you now make him the oba of the town. Yes. Much will be expected of me in terms of performance. And that's the, the challenge that I have. I always look back and say, what will people say I have achieved on this throne? Kabi, you see, my history is a bit hazy because I do not know if um, traditional rulers do this. It is quite commendable, but you know, like, Moving away from the traditional expectation and going into development and the ec economic, you know, realization of the states, I mean, of that kingdom. No, no, no. You see, an institution, an institution eh, yes. that does not improve, that does not change, that does not improve. Yes. It's not a good institution. That's that's my my belief. Yes, most of our jobs as obas in those days centered more on uh, culture and tradition and so on and so forth. But let me tell you this: 
the definition of ownership has is now has is now it's now different. For me, the definition that I give of ownership is that it is the apart from what we we'll see culture there, apart from culture and tradition, it is the center of efforts and activities for development of the community. Okay. It, it, it is the center. Everybody because you have to you can't do it alone. Yes. You have to make use of in fact, my coming here, my relationship with uh, uh, my oh, uh, David, mm -hmm. making use of people for the development of my community. I cannot just say I want to do it. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, Kabi, see how how are you going to go about all of this? Because um, in page fifty-eight of your book, mm -hmm. here you talked about the project in, in Ilodo approved by the Ogun State Government, and there's a whole lot. Nursery expansion, the Akmoje farms, um, prepare the meal to cope with the attendant increase. increase no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's my personal business. This one is, uh, those are that my, you do personally. My, 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 my personal business. We, at, at the point, a place here talked about um, the farm, the palm yes, I have, panel uh, yes, farm. I have. Uh, yes, I have. That's okay, my business. The one that needs to be revamped. No, 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 no. Mm. That, that, that is Akpoje Farms. Yes, the Akpoje Farms. That's my company. My company, okay. my company, my company uh, was given a management contract to help revamp that Akpoje Farms. Okay. That's my business. Are you be talking? Be be because I, as a businessman, I have an oil palm plantation in my Lodo, in Lodo, and I have a palm produce processing company factory in Lodo. So there's synergy of uh, my personal farm, my factory, and the government see my experience yes. along that line and requesting my company. Eh? The commands is there. By the time we got to Akwaje, Akwaje was zero. Yeah. But we tried to bring it up. We tried to bring it up to the extent of uh, inviting Malaysians hmm. to come and take part. I was in Kuala Lumpur on so many occasions. The Malaysians were those that we were told came in the 70s to yes. pick the Pancanel seed. Mm. Okay. Yes. So, I mean, so, so they, they asked me to, mm. my company to come and uh, please, I will try that best. Okay. So that's that the one they're talking about. And um, then again, your relationship with the United Kingdom and the country Hungary, so much so that you are given an honorary citizen. Yes, citizen, yes, yes. Um, Hungary. Well, okay. Uh, uh, let me give the story properly. Somebody, you know, uh, saw my thoughts about the uh, development of my town and felt I should move develop the efforts to, for, to the attention of some people outside the shores of Nigeria. That was what brought me to Hungary. That's, that's related more to my business. It related more to my business. Uh, I, I came close to uh, the Budapest Chamber of Commerce. I addressed them. And uh, as at that time, when I went to Hungary, Hungary and Nigeria, I think they broke in relations. Okay. Yeah. Uh, part of my visit, I spoke about uh, the need for them to come back. And they were actually. Um, on that, by the time I, 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 a few months after my visit, they came back to They are now fully uh, settled in Nigeria in terms of uh, bilateral relationship. So, I, there is no way you will relate in business with outside world 
that you will not be looking for something that can be of benefit to your country. For example, by the time I, I, was, I was with them, yes. I was uh, thinking of uh, serious investments in uh, solar energy. So that uh, you know, that time, the issue of electricity yes. was actually becoming a, a big issue. Mm -hmm. And I felt that uh, an investment in that area. We, we, we tried our best. We tried to, to bring that, that to the attention of a Minister of Power uh, in Abuja. And we even uh, got uh, the contract of uh, installing about a 400 kilowatts uh, solar, solar power plant. Yes. You know, for uh, some communities in local states. You've talked about a lot of personal businesses. So how do you balance your kinship with your private business? Be managerial. A businessman is a managerial person. He doesn't carry the body in alone. Making use of resources, people, men, money, time to get things done. You don't, carry, you don't do it alone. And similarly, in uh, my job as the Oba, uh, I've just explained that uh, I, relate, I relate with people and I, through them, I get things done. Yes. I have a council of chiefs and they are, I'm here now in UK, they are very much aware. But what is going on? I'm always on phone, okay. <laughs> relating with them. But because I have uh, uh, a good understanding, mm -hmm. of course, things will be going on. What they should do before I come back, we'll get to that. The, 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 there, is a, there, is, there is a project that is on my mind now, which uh, one of the reasons why I'm here. Yes. Uh, our river, we got it dumped by federal government. And we told the government, please, thank you very much for giving us this time. We are going to make use of the time for further development of our community. Okay, you know why I, I commend your works? Because, is because, 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 because as a businessman, and you bring business to bear upon the administration of your community, you are going to look at your community in a different way. Yes. We are going to look at areas of exploitation, which will bring progress. We are not going to look at the mundane things. No, you look at that was what brought me to the issue of uh, our river damming it. Yes, damming the Is river. Is it the Lodo Dam project? Yes, in collaboration with the neighboring communities. Yes, dam damming the river. Mm -hmm. I now spoke to my neighbors. I said, well. This, no. if you see the, the, the river's width before <laughs> was not up to, I'm telling you, yes. was not up to this uh, table. Mm. But it's a lagoon now mm. with some potentials. Well, Kabi, say, I, I'm really impressed with what you're doing. For a whole lot of us who are here in the United Kingdom and have the need to want to go back to Nigeria and we love to see development in Nigeria, especially in the interlands. Mm. And when I went through your book, I was so impressed. It's so amazing mm. that it's not about just Lagos State, or, you know, the commercialized parts or the co cosmopolitan cities of Nigeria, Abuja or Lagos, State, maybe Kano City, mm. you know, because people from Ogun State, you just particularly about developing the states is really, really impressive. Mm. And then you're also concerned about women development and the youths. Mm. Kabi, I want you to talk to us briefly about that. Well, a community is not made up of men alone. It's made up of uh, most sorts of uh, people, women. women, children. And some of my guests saw our efforts in, in that area, during my 17th birthday celebrations, we, we not, we, it was not just a question of uh, dining and whining. We devoted a whole day towards vocation, development of vocation for women and for children. And somebody took special note. You see, 
the multiplier effect of some actions are what bear upon or are what lead to the progress of uh, whatever whatever you are doing. One lady visited us, one of my new chiefs, and was very impressed that uh, we are not just talking about dying and whining. Yes. We created a day. It was on a Friday. It was Friday. We created a day to affairs of women, affairs of school children, affairs of uh, people on vocation, how we can assist them. I brought in professors from the university to come and help me disseminate uh, information to these people, and we are taking it further. Kabisi, I could want to talk to you about um, the traditional institution and politicians with, in relation to politics. I could want to talk to you about polygamy or then maybe your religious beliefs with the traditional rights, how you manage everything. But I'm just so particularly interested in the development that you're doing which is really, really commendable. And to just say to Nigerians out there, you need to support this, buy this book, or go back home or try to do something for your people. A visionary apostle of community development, the biography yes. of Kabiesi here. It's, it's, Kabiesi, this is really amazing. Thank you very much. It's, it's just really amazing. And we, we could just go on and on and talking about what you're doing Thank you very but much. since we always do talk about politics on our program what is your relationship with politicians how do you manage them politicians are our children they are our friends but i always tell the politicians that uh, they are not the only uh, they are not the only Uh, people that get concerned about the affairs of our people, of, our, of, of the, of the yeah. of our people. We traditional rulers, we are the closest contacts to our people. So we know what they want. Let me tell you this. I am the secretary of uh, the Buddhist of us, Forum. In Ogun State, it's the best of us, you know, the best the local government. Yes. You know, and um, I made our forum to relate with the government, either the local government or with the state government. Yes. And compile the list of the needs of our people. Yeah. What they want. Can I jocularly tell you this? That this is my second time in. Uh, Ben TV. We're always pleased to have you, Kabiesi. And and <laughs> and, I, and I made this point at, at, at that time that uh, mm -hmm. Obas are the closest contacts with the people that the politicians are governing. Of course. So we are the ones that should tell the politicians what they should do for our people because we know, we know their needs. We know their needs. And, and when I, the politicians I, I, come yes. and then they get the votes after making promises and they do not fulfill their promises, f with your position, what do you say to them? Well, uh, well, uh, frankly speaking, uh, my attitude is that uh, the destiny of my town is in the hands of myself and my people. That, that's, my, that's, that's my attitude. My, my attitude is that uh, if I want this my town to make progress, I feel that's what brought me here. Yeah. That's what brought all this, uh, 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 all this about to catalog what we have been doing on our own.
Yes. But let me say this, though. At, yes. time, at times, government, for example, mm -hmm. my, state gov my state government, you know, they appreciate efforts yes. of community development. And they award, they, 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 award they, they give out money to that effect. Okay. Talking, anyway. But it means a lot. It's appreciation. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. But let's quickly talk about your 70th birthday. And I'm sure we have pictures of them. It was well attended. I was fortunate to be there. <laughs> it was really beautiful. That is, a, a, that is a, the, 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 the UK version. The UK version, because uh, there's another uh, version. Ask, ask your friends, the, the Nigerian version. <laughs> it was a carnival. It was a wow, wow. <laughs> the whole place was, I mean, it was full yes. with people, mm. of course, loads mm. of things mm. to eat and drink. And that's Chief uh, Bibo Folayo. Yes, that's right. Present there, yeah. and of course, Otumba David it was dear also in Diabada, yes. the Otumba Oreoba. Yes, yes, <laughs> I like that title. Yes, yes, it was also the amazing pictures, yes. with loads of mm. beautiful people, mm. well dressed to suit the occasion. Yes. it's mm. really, really fantastic. I mm. particularly like this one. Yes. And different groups oh, to celebrate you. Mm -hmm. Have you seen? This is really beautiful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We applaud it. I mean, Thank we you. applaud it. Oh, and that's me. <laughs> yes. <I'm there>. yeah. <laughs> ah, I like that. I like that. It's lovely. Can we see? That's a granddaughter. So oh, your granddaughter. That's a cousin. Oh, a this cousin. is lovely. Can we see? Yeah. And the women seem to like you a lot. I, I ah. take particular interest in that. Uh, should I get angry? No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Just putting your leg in yeah, No, it's okay. No problem. And a lot of accolades, Kabiyasi. Yeah. I'm really impressed to have this. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm just going to mark this date on my calendar. I'm so happy to, to have you. Thank Loads you. of leadership position. You're the chief medical engineer, federal housing estate, over 22 years on the throne traditional ruler of Ilodo Kingdom and the coordinating oba of the royal vanguards of Ogun State. Yes. Kabi is you. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Thank you very much Amen. Amen. for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, viewers, I have been speaking with His Royal Majesty Oba Olajide Isaka Ajede, the Ogori Dagbo, Aki Ilodo Kingdom of Ogun State. Thank you, sir, for joining me. We'll be going on this break, and when we come back, Don Nice is planning something fantastic on the 5th of May and London will never be the same again. Don't go away. Look like a supermodel with beautiful virgin hair products. The best real hair, guaranteed. With Pape and Camille Beauty Hair. Brazilian plus closure for £90. Special offer, Brazilian hair, 8 inches for £10, 10 inches for £12, 12 inches for £15. Lace wig frontal, 10 inches, starts from just £55. Find these and other great deals with 100% guaranteed human hair at the Papa and Camille store in Brixton. Hop into our Brixton store today or go online with free next day delivery at pchairlimited.com. With Papa and Camille, you have the freedom to be really gorgeous. Bidi Luxury Hotel, the newest home away from home in the Nigerian hospitality 